driven away from Cornthwaite. Not once, but twice goes for the toe poke, and Eugene Galekovic was alert at his near post. He needed to be. Turned it over to Kemp. Here's space for Hernandez. Thompson, no flag. Archie Thompson! Melbourne take the lead here at the Telstra Dome. And surely that's enough to go through to the grand final. Well, he's more than a nemesis for Adelaide. He's a full-on nightmare. There are question marks about whether Thompson was onside or offside. It's that vacant space in behind. It's a line ball call. The assistant referee, I think, has got it right. If he's in doubt, he should wave play on. Thompson pounces. This is exactly the part of the field where Adelaide struggled last week. Hernandez ran riot last week, and he started in a similar vein, putting it on a plate. The, leading, the league's leading player for through balls, Carlos Hernandez. Well, that's what it means to the Melbourne victory bench. They know how important that goal is. Julio Vidmar. Always a tough learning curve for a young coach. He had a difficult first campaign last season. Things went a lot better this season, or at least for long periods this season. Notably, of course, in the AFC Champions League. This Podolyak working with Hernandez. Hit of a handball there by Ogdenovsky. Ward wide right. Chance here for Melbourne, buried by Carlos Hernandez, back from World Cup duty, scores in the A-League, Melbourne victory, doing it easy. Like taking baby from a candy. Picking Adelaide apart, and they're only in second gear, Melbourne. The recriminations are beginning, the finger pointing is starting, the demands are being made verbally in the Adelaide camp, but physically... They're shot ducks. Too much time to set up the play. Too much time to release runners. And the dummy sold too easily. Bought too readily and the finish good. Hernandez, a good player in great form. Melbourne having a conflab centre field. Haven't seen this before. Adelaide it is. With Adelaide Gal rather. Galakovic up there as well. Pride in the shirt. I'm sure that's the message. Memories of that infamous grand final, the 6 0 result here at Telstra Dome. The season before last, the scar still runs deep for Adelaide United as a club. Allsop, lovely turn. He is on fire, Danny Allsop. He is red hot at the moment. Adelaide just cannot handle him. Gets it back from Thompson. Allsop! Unstoppable, Danny Allsop. Well, it might be modern first aid practice, but to stop the hemorrhaging, you've got to apply a tourniquet, and the centre of Adelaide's midfield is getting ripped to pieces. Dodd. Cassio. And Tallis feeds it into the path of Jamison. Cristiano. With a head up just wide of the post. Well, that was Adelaide, Adelaide United's best moment of the game. Yeah, it was better from Adelaide. And Cristiano, he does move very well in these short three to four metre bursts to it. Head the ball. is a very powerful header of the football. <laughs> Alemao, he's been dispossessed. Alemao, Seleski onto it quickly but has no support. He's done well though, Seleski. Now Hernandez slides a wide Pondoliak across the face of goal. They smelt blood there, Melbourne victory. Well, they were queuing up and Tommy Pondoliak just couldn't get the ball out in front of him enough to get the strike that he wanted. The reverse angle shows again. They're just teeing Adelaide up. Well, I thought Aurelio Vidma might go to his bench before the break. Doesn't seem to be the case. Doesn't have a lot on his plate in that dressing room at half time. Hernandez slides it through. Alsop is onside. Danny Alsop. 3 0 Melbourne. It's a rout. 
for Hernandez again. Two through balls. One for each of the league's best strikers. Take your pick, whether it's Thompson or Allsop. And it is building like a boil for Adelaide. Another line ball one, but I'd say Scott Jamison is keeping, or Rognanowski that was, is keeping Allsop at least in line. But too much time to release the pass. Too much space in that key area of the field where Melbourne had the best player in the competition. And isn't he showing it? Danny Allsop, his first touch not convincing. His second was all that took, though. And Eugene Galekovic, a stellar season, has never been on the winning team in this fixture, Melbourne v Adelaide. Either as a Melbourne player or an Adelaide player, and it's not looking like that duck's going to be broken tonight. His first pass over the sideline, Roston Griffiths, former Australian Youth International. This fellow Blackburn Rovers in England. Turned home to try and rejuvenate his career. Much the same way that Scott Jamison did at the start of this season. It hasn't that worked out well. Hernandez with the ball to the back post. And it's Tommy Pomeliak, 4-0 Melbourne. Would you believe it? Carlos Hernandez, one goal, three assists. Melbourne four goals to nil. Don't care how tight your hamstrings are, Carlos. Keep showing us your stuff. It was a beautiful ball to the back post. Again in the exchange, Melbourne just too canny. Adelaide falling over each other. Time to receive, look, deliver. And Pondulyak, who missed a sitter in the first half with a tidy volley early in the second. Effectively a give, a, a give and go between the two Melbourne midfielders. It was embarrassing for Adelaide. Well, that is a wonderful goal from Melbourne Victory. Delightful ball from Hernandez. Classy finish from Tommy Pondliak. Ominous again for Adelaide United at the start of this second half. Kemp puts it in. Cornthwaite with the header. Two Adelaide players go for the same ball, and Nicky Wall with a shot testing Galekovic, who made a very smart save. Well, football is often spoken of in boxing terms. Referee had called it off, etc., etc. Well, also in boxing, you had the chance to throw in the towel if your team's getting pulverised. Barbiero. Jamison. No flag against Mullen. He's brought down by Musket. Now there's a flag and it will go against the victory skipper for the challenge. Free kick Adelaide just outside the penalty area. Well, again, handily placed. But Melbourne, you can see, not only mobile in attack, but they got across in real numbers. Kevin <laughs> Musket. Swing in by Reid. Good header also. Volley from Cassio. Superb reflexes, Michael Theoklitos. They're determined to keep a clean sheet, Melbourne victory. Very good work, Michael Theoklitos. There's enormous pride in this goal line. Well, that crowd figure of 34,736 is, in fact, the biggest crowd of the season. Than most of the Melbourne Victory fans have thoroughly enjoyed themselves. Also, back post. Grant Brebner, the substitute. So close to making it five. Griffiths. Good cross from Griffiths as well. Cristiano. Michael Theophilos will not be beaten. Brilliant. Brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Brilliant, Michael Fiokotos. Nice work, Roston Griffiths. He's going to talk about perhaps uh, sticking around, which would make it a three-way battle for the goalkeeping position. Of course, Mitchell Langerak is also a very talented young goalkeeper. Double trouble. Double trouble. Cassio knows what's coming. The second card of the yellow variety, followed by a red. 
It goes from bad to worse and for Adelaide United. And it's really unforgivable. Picasso, his emotion has gotten the better of him. Normally a very placid character, fine footballer. Perhaps expect to see a little bit more of that too, but sitting on a yellow card. And his team would have needed him next week. Has, on balance, been a tremendous contributor to the Reds, but can't do that in their hour of need. Fabiano draws the foul from Austin Griffiths. The free kick as well! Fabiano was there, but at the back post, looking to make it five, was Jose Luis Lopez.